All right, welcome back to one more edition of Boxing I Garete. So, great uh, weekend of fights. Uh, Nate Diaz, uh, Masvidal uh, was an exciting fight. Um, uh, ended in basically controversy. Hopefully they they bring it back like they said they would. So um, I'm hoping for that. But the topic of the video: Canelo versus Kovalev. Um, I had predicted that uh, Kovalev won, that it will win. Um, obviously, um, I was wrong. Um, but I do feel that I was right on most of the things that I said. Kovalev was able to keep Canelo at, at bay um, with a jab. He wasn't throwing a lot of right, strong right hands. Um, I don't know if that was caused by maybe Canelo power shots or counters, quick counters. But um, Canelo had a very hard time going to the body. He barely had any body shots. He had a few good counters to the bodies, but nothing significant. Uh, uh, basically, you know, I felt personally that, you know, when I was scoring the fight, um, I felt that um, Sergey was actually winning the fight until that moment and that he got knocked out. Um, right now, there's a lot of talk about... Uh, you know, fixed fight. Um, so, I want to touch on that. Um, my opinion, personally, I don't think it was a fixed fight. I just think, um, you know, it's a shock fighter. You know, um, basically, Sergey is has been knocked out the last few t last hard fights, or at least been hurt in multiple in his last few fights, and it's just he's just already to the point where he gets touched. Um, you know, solid enough, he's probably gonna go down so um a lot of people are bringing up you know the reason he you know that he put his uh hands down in the second shot well you know he was hurt by the first shot so you get disoriented you know stuff happens it's just the way it goes um also people are also bringing up you know the beginning of the fight where they were saying they were already calling canelo Alvarez a uh, triple uh or a four division champion and holding three belts at the same time or whatever um I per are being champion in, at the same time in three different divisions. I personally think, you know, because a lot of people are saying that that's why the fight was rigged because, you know, how would they know that Ch uh, Canelo was going to win? I don't think it was a case of him knowing, them knowing that he was going to win. I think it, it goes, it falls back to the whole franchise champion thing. Uh, remember, If you guys remember, um, according to the rules, um when you uh if Canelo moves up or down in weight no matter what weight division he moves up he automatically becomes the champion of that weight class for the WBC the franchise champion so the moment he moved up to 175 and fought he became you know the WBC champion so um that makes him a three champion in three different classes um they compare him to Henry Armstrong with which I felt that was bullshit because they can't. It, there's no comparison. It really isn't. I don't care what you say. Um, they shouldn't even put him his name in that same league. But it is what it is. Um, that's basically why they said that. I don't think it had nothing to do with the fight being rigged. Um, I think it was a good fight. Like I said, I had Sergey winning the fight until the moment of the knockout. Um, I felt he dominated the first early rounds. I felt Canelo started kind of putting more pressure towards the middle rounds. But then he kind of picked it up again. Uh, Sergey picked up a few rounds towards the later rounds. And then until the knockout. Um, the Ryan Garcia fight, that was also uh, a very good good fight. Um, he showed a lot. Um, it was... It was one, one. There was one thing funny that I found about the Ryan Garcia fight that, and the Canelo fight that were two si similarities. So... And the Canelo fight, uh, you saw that Kovalev kept getting, um, you know, kept getting uh, warned by the ref for, you know, sticking his hand out, like, you know, in a, in a jab and leaving it out there and not using it, you know, which I totally understand. I agree with you. You're not supposed to stick your hand out like that. That's part of the rules. But if you guys pay attention, and I know it was just a one round fight, but still, um, and Ryan Garcia's fight, he did that multiple times in the round. And I watched the fight a couple times. 
And I don't recall seeing the referee ever warn Ryan Garcia for that. So, the reason I bring this up is because, you know, like I said, a lot of people are talking about the, the, fight, the fight with Canelo was fixed. And I'm just bringing it up because I'm just saying the fight was not fixed. It's just that they had all the advantages. Ryan Garcia, Canelo Alvarez had all the advantages going into the fight. Canelo Alvarez had the the uh, hydration clause. Um, we all know Canelo had a weak chin. He had the um, he basically met, you know run everything. You know who walked in first, who walked out second. You know, like it was it was just incredible. He had everything in his favor. You know, so there was really not much that Kolov could do. Um, even at the end of the fight, two of the judges had Canelo up, which I found ridiculous because uh, there was no way Canelo was winning that fight. In my opinion, there was no way he was winning that fight. It was a close fight, but he wasn't winning it. And the most he could ask for was a draw. So, um, I don't know what fight those fight guys were just but basically like I said he had all the advantages there's no way he was losing that fight by decision so you know it was good that he knocked him out because it would have been I felt it would have been worse on his part if he would have made the decision because they would have gave it to him and then it would have been controversy and then yeah no so I guess it was a better look for Canelo to actually have knocked him out the way he did but my final thought do I feel it was a fixed fight nah I just feel that, you know, they good miss, uh, good matching. That's all it really was, good matching and, you know, knowing when a fighter's on their way out and also a fighter that knows that they're on their way out and they just want to cash out. So, but that's all I got for you guys. Thank you for your time. Please uh, hit the like button, share, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Peace.